Ferdosi. Abul Ghassam Ferdosi Tusi, also Ferdosi or Ferdosi, was a Persian poet and the author of Shahnameh, Book of Kings, which is one of the world's longest epic poems created by a single poet, and the greatest epic of Persian-speaking countries. Ferdosi is celebrated as one of the most influential figures of Persian literature and one of the greatest in the history of literature. Ferdosi was born into a family of Iranian landowners, Deherkins, in 940 in the village of Paj, near the city of Tus, in the Khorasan region of the Samanid Empire, which is located in the present-day Razavi Khorasan province of northeastern Iran. Little is known about Ferdosi's early life. The poet had a wife, who was probably literate and came from the same Deacon class. He had a son, who died at the age of 37, and was mourned by the poet in an elegy which he inserted into the Shahnameh. Ferdosi belonged to the class of Deherkins. These were landowning Iranian aristocrats who had flourished under the Sasanid dynasty, the last pre-Islamic dynasty to rule Iran, and whose power, though diminished, had survived into the Islamic era which followed the Islamic conquests of the 7th century. The Deherkins were attached to the pre-Islamic literary heritage, as their status was associated with it, so much so that Deherkhan is sometimes used as a synonym for Iranian in the Shahnameh. Thus they saw it as their task to preserve the pre-Islamic cultural traditions, including tales of legendary kings. The Islamic conquests of the 7th century brought gradual linguistic and cultural changes to the Iranian plateau. By the late 9th century, as the power of the caliphate had weakened, several local dynasties emerged in greater Iran. Ferdosi grew up in Tus, a city under the control of one of these dynasties, the Samanids, who claimed descent from the Sasanid general Baram Chaban, whose story Ferdosi recounts in one of the later sections of the Shahnameh. The Samanid bureaucracy used the new Persian language, which had been used to bring Islam to the eastern regions of the Iranian world and supplanted local languages, and commissioned translations of Pahlavi texts into new Persian. Abu Mansur Muhammad, a D Khan and governor of Tus, had ordered his minister Abu Mansur Mamari to invite several local scholars to compile a prose Shahnameh, Book of Kings, which was completed in 1010. Although it no longer survives, Ferdosi used it as one of the sources of his epic. Samanid rulers were patrons of such important Persian poets as Rudaki and Dakiki, and Ferdosi followed in the footsteps of these writers. Details about Ferdosi's education are lacking. Judging by the Shahnameh, there is no evidence he knew either Arabic or Pahlavi. It is possible that Ferdosi wrote some early poems which have not survived. He began work on the Shahnameh around 977, intending it as a continuation of the work of his fellow poet Dakiki, who had been assassinated by a slave. Like Dakiki, Ferdosi employed the prose Shahnameh of Abd al-Razak as a source. He received generous patronage from the Samanid Prince Mansur and completed the first version of the Shahnameh in 994. When the Turkic Ghaznavids overthrew the Samanids in the late 990s, Ferdosi continued to work on the poem, rewriting sections to praise the Ghaznavid Sultan Mahmud. Mahmud's attitude to Ferdosi and how well he rewarded the poet are matters which have long been subject to dispute and have formed the basis of legends about the poet and his patron, see below. The Turkic Mahmud may have been less interested in tales from Iranian history than the Samanids. The later sections of the Shahnameh have passages which reveal Ferdosi's fluctuating moods, in some he complains about old age, poverty, illness and the death of his son, in others, he appears happier. Ferdosi finally completed his epic on March 8, 1010. Virtually nothing is known with any certainty about the last decade of his life.